Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, we're going to discuss the developments uh, occurring in the Israel uh, Russia saga. So, uh, I, I posted, um, uh, I think as of now, two videos on the issue, and I will just uh, make a, a short uh, recap of whatever happened here. Um, <clears throat> the West is, uh, let's try it differently. So, the, one of the reasons why Russia uh, invaded Ukraine, according to the Russians, obviously, is that there are some uh, elements in the Ukrainian military and in the political system and leadership uh, that uh, are sympathizers of the Nazi ideology. And uh, not only sympathizers, but they uh, this is according to the Russians and some information that you can find online. I was also uploaded a video regarding the Azov Battalion, which was incorporated in the Ukrainian National Guard and I was part of the uh, Ukrainian army that is right now involved in uh, Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol, trapped over there. Uh, these are allegedly uh, extreme uh, extremist fighters with an uh, Nazi ideology, some of them, including the leadership, and uh, this is what it's claimed. There are some evidence to support that, there's some evidence to, uh, um, you know, infirm that. So uh, let's put it, um, uh, you know, deny it. Nevertheless, so this is where it's at. Now, uh, as uh, you probably know, uh, the uh, Ukraine has a Jewish uh, uh, president and a Jewish prime minister. And uh, so then you have uh, um, these two individuals in the top positions, uh, poll positions in Ukraine. And uh, the, uh, the argument that the West provided to uh, deny that there is any Nazi uh, sympathizers in the government and in, uh, as I said, mentioned before, is pointing out that this guy, especially Zelensky, is Jewish and it's impossible. Now, Russians Foreign Minister Lavrov uh, came back and said, you know what, uh, that doesn't hold water because, you know, uh, logically, so what if I'm, um, I give an example with a pedophile grandfather, just because I'm a nice old, uh, you know, gentleman and so on, uh, I can't be because why I have grandchildren and children and somehow that, um, or just because I'm a German something I can't find against my own nation, like you have, for instance, uh, Eisenhower and you have pattern, these guys had German ancestry and they fought against their nation, right? Because it was nation, tribe, let's put it this way. So nevertheless, it's it's a very, it's a fallacy to say, oh, he's Jewish, therefore he cannot be a, a supporter of the Nazi. Well, because Nazi ideology is a bit more complex than we are, um, you know, given here. Uh, nevertheless, there were some incendiaries uh, um, accusations. Lavrov says, yeah, that's historical fact that prove this and that. Then guess what? The big energy woke up, uh, big interests and then uh, Jewish organizations, Jewish people in general, and uh, the Israeli prime ministers can condemn this uh, the statements and Lavrov begged, uh, you know, uh, didn't back down. He just uh, <laughs> said some more. And as I, um, I, uh, you know, I think that things will escalate. And I think because this energy got involved now, uh, Russia is going to be very, very uh, cornered from the different angles now. So uh, now the article. Uh, you know, I predicted that Russia is going to have a hard time now, even harder, since uh, they woke up this energy. Now we have, um, if you know what I mean, now we have a uh, an article from um, May 4th, 2022, uh, from Republic World, um, I guess the out, uh, media outlet, and it says, tensions between Russia, Israel, flare as Moscow claims Israeli mercenaries fighting in Ukraine. Did you have any doubts that our mercenaries from all over the place fighting over there? It's not that, uh, and I'm going to explain how this could, uh, you know, uh, prove, uh, not prove, because our, these are allegations, okay? So 
they say the other one say no or say mercenary is an individual who goes over there and for money provides you some services with a anyway so russian uh, spokeswoman for the foreign minister has claimed that israeli mercenaries were fighting alongside the far right azov regiment slash battalion in ukraine this has flared tension between israel and russia moscow has suggested that adolf hitler had jewish blood and the nazis israeli mercenaries had been fighting alongside azov battalion that rose to uh, uh, that came up in uh, that you heard from uh, in 2014 and uh, let's put it easier so israeli mercenaries are practically shoulder to shoulder with azov militants in ukraine maria zakharova told pro kremlin sputnik radio in an interview she added that israelis are fighting alongside the ukrainian army against russian troops and some of the forces that have been sealed security in ukraine's port city mariupol's azov style steel plant are israeli mercenaries Ooh, okay that's the first time i hear that uh, Russia's claims that uh, Israel are fighting along um, Azov, uh, alongside Azov, viewed uh, by Russians as a fascist and Nazis, have escalated tensions between the two nations. After Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said Sunday that Hitler had Jewish blood, Israel strongly uh, reacted to his remarks, saying that it was unforgivable and outrageous, that a terrible historical error. Russia lambasted Israel for backing the neo-Nazi regime in. Um, in Ukraine. Now, I don't know if there are uh, Israeli mercenaries uh, trapped in Azovstal plant. Uh, I don't care. It's a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility. You can have a, I don't know, a, I'm a Chinese saying, you know, I, I like Ukrainians and I think that Ukrainians are right and those invaders, bad Russians should be, you know, pushed back and I'm going to go and fight. So what does mean? Does that mean that China's government is involved in it? No, it's an individual who decided, made a decision based on his, uh, you no know, thoughts, ideas, whatever, to join that military. So what? There are many mercenaries who join a, a Russian army, for that matter. So mercenaries are mercenaries. Who pays most? More? They go over there. Now there are some patriots, volunteers who go for. I don't know. I'm a. Let's say I'm a. a, a in this case. Uh, you know that was a big big migration from soviet union to israel you know they paid money these guys allowed the the jewish uh, population from soviet union to emigrate to united states and israel and other uh, usually primarily united states and um, israel during the soviet times there was a deal including romania where i come from the same it was a deal with the government that the jewish uh, uh, organizations and jewish uh, government will you know, provide something to the government. The government will allow Jewish uh, diaspora to move to wherever they choose to, where they are uh, welcomed. Which United States are? So there are a lot of, a lot of. When you see a, a let's say, an Israeli with a uh, uh, um, Israeli, let's say, a person who lives in Israel with a um, Slavic name, that person probably or his ancestor came came from came from. Uh, former uh, USSR, Soviet Union, and other countries that, and there are some uh, guys that will have Romanian names, and they are from Romania because they are, you know, they immigrated at one point or another. So a lot of people that who, for instance, let's say, uh, feel a strong uh, connection with the Ukraine, and they uh, live in Israel, and they're, they're Jews, they might go over there and fight for, you know, they feel a connection with Ukraine, and good for them but uh, you, you i mean if you have a you know you have a, a conviction and you feel that you belong to a certain group a certain country and good for you so there might be some of this there might be some mercenaries ex-military who just uh, have a uh, trigger each you know and they say oh i'm gonna go over there i'm gonna make some money there are some people who have not a good life uh, they couldn't integrate themselves in a society where when they came back from wherever military activities they conducted so then they they are like okay what should we do we gotta do this uh, so uh, for money for money some do it for other reasons nevertheless i don't i don't it's not a big deal it doesn't surprise me uh, this piece of news that some israeli mercenaries as long as those mercenaries are not part of the uh israeli military now if they're part of the mil israeli military that's a different 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 story if they're just private citizens who said, I'm going to go over there and, uh, you know, employ myself, 
provide my services to this uh, uh, country, that's their choice. They can do that. But, you know, the Geneva Convention is not very, very nice about those, those kind of people. Good luck to all of them. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, and pay attention. There will be much more news about Israel and um, Russia in the future and uh, a lot of name-calling. Just watch it. Bye.